Hello everybody and welcome to another episode. In today's episode I will show you how to properly replace the inner and the outer tie rod from a Mercedes E-Class from the year 2007 to 2012. Those are my new pieces. This is the inner tie rod and also the outer tie rod for this car. And in this episode I will show you how to properly replace them and how to do a very good job on your car without spending money on someone else to do it. First what we have to do is to lift the front part of the car both of the wheels up and uh, remove them completely from the car. Just here, the play that I have right here. This play, in most of the cases, is caused by the outer tie rod and also by the inner tie rod. And in some cases, it can also be the steering pump, but uh, it's uh, very rarely. Okay, so for this car, this is how it's looking. This is our outer tie rod right here. This is how it's looking on this car, and this is the inner tie rod. Like I said earlier, first what you have to do is to lift the car up and put it on a jack stand because you want to have a clean surface and you want to have enough space to go under the car and remove the inner and the outer tie rod. Before removing the tie rods, you have to remove the shield from under the car. You'll have a plastic shield like I have in this car, and the shield is holding in by six bolts I think and the bolts are 8 mm you will have to remove this shield and only after that you'll have enough space to work with the inner boots from the tie rods So with the shield from under the car removed, now we have enough space to work with the tie rods. And as you all can see, on these Mercedes cars, it's very easy to work with them because you have enough space and room to work with. You have enough space to put your tools and you don't need some special tools to do it. You can do it with a normal set of tools, a toolbox from any auto parts store, doesn't matter. You can do it at home very easy. Okay, to begin what we have to do is to remove this bolt from right here this is a 19 millimeter bolt you'll have to use a 19 millimeter socket for the bolt and after that you'll have to loosen up this bolt from right here but before doing all of this what you'll have to do is to take a roulette or something like that to measure the distance from the inner tie rod to the outer tie rod because you want to put them in exactly same spot because otherwise the steering angle will be different and you want to be able to drive the car safely but anyway even if you are doing this, you will have to take the car to an alignment shop after you're replacing those parts because you want to make sure that the car is 100% sure for the roads and it can be driven very safely. Before removing the bolt from the outer tie rod, I recommend to take a wire brush and clean the bolt very good because in this way the bolt will come out very easy and it will not remain stuck onto the outer tie rod. In my case I'm using an impact gun but you can use whatever tool you have there. With an impact gun it's very easy but it can be done with any tool you have in your normal toolbox. After that before removing the outer tie rod from the hub, from the wheel, what we have to do is to measure the distance from the bolt, from this bolt next to the outer tie rod, to the clamp which is holding the boot from the inner tie rod. To measure the distance between the inner and the outer tie rod, you'll have to use a roulette like I'm doing right now. And with this roulette, you'll have to put it like this, right here, under the bolt and just look at the clamp which is holding the boot from the inner tie rod. And in my case here, I have six centimeters and I already checked onto the other side and it's exactly the same. It's exactly six centimeters onto the other side. So this is how uh, far you have to tie to the outer tie rod. But in any case, if you don't want to use a roulette, 
you can always count how many threads you have until the outer tie rod came out from the inner tie rod and I will show you in a second how to do it and to remove the outer tie rod from the hub you can always use a tool like this but I don't like to use a tool like this I always like to hammer it with a hammer because it is coming out uh, very easy in some cases but now just look how many times I have to hammer it until the outer tie rod will came out from the hub okay as you can see this is how it's looking and this is how it's coming out if you are using a hammer because not everyone has a special tool to use it so I like to show you how to do it the hard way before removing the outer tie rod you can also count how many turns you will have until the outer tie rod will came out from the inner tie rod in my case I have 25 turns and when I'm installing the new outer tie rod I will also count 25 turns and after that I will tighten the bolt and this is how to measure your outer and inner tie rod at home but like I said earlier I recommend you to take the car to an alignment shop and let them do it properly and let them do it how it should be done because they have special tools to do it and they will do it 100% good okay everybody in my case I don't want to reuse this protection dust cover boots from the inner tie rod but you maybe in your case you want to reuse them and you have to make sure that you don't destroy them when you're trying to remove them from the inner tie rod in my case I don't uh, care if I damage them or not because I will replace them anyway to remove the bolt which is holding the inner tie rod mounted onto the car you will have to take a big set of pliers because the bolt is so big that normal tools will not fit in and normally there is a special tool which you can use to remove those bolts but I don't have it and probably you won't have it also so a big set of pliers will also work and you have to undo it like this and after that as you can see the bolt and the inner tie rod will came out okay everybody as you can see here I have the old ones the old inner and the outer tie rod and in the right side I have the new ones always you have to measure if the new parts are exactly the same parts as the old ones always you have to check them before installing them onto the car because if they are not the same parts if you install them probably the uh, shop who sold you the parts won't take them back so just take that in mind always check them before installing them onto the car the merch which I choose to go with it's Moog because they have a very good price on the parts and also they have a very good quality on the parts so I recommend you to go with Moog also if you don't know with uh, which merch you have to go when replacing your car parts The installation process is the same as for this installation. You have to tighten the inner tie rod enough when you feel resistance and when you feel that the bolt is not going anymore, you just, you just have to stop and that's it. You're good to go. Before installing the new boot onto the inner tie rod, make sure that the metal piece which you will tighten later on to make the boot stay onto the inner tie rod is facing down because later when you want to replace uh, over some years again the parts, it will be very easy for you to undo the wire and in some cases, I don't know why, they will uh, came in the, up, uh, in the top part, the wire will be at the top and it will be very difficult for you to remove the wire without cutting it or without breaking it so I always like to let it to the bottom to install it to the bottom side this is how it's looking after that you have to install the nut onto the inner tie rod and later you will have to count uh, in my case I had the 25 uh, turns to the outer tie rod and also I had the uh, 6 inch from the outer tie rod to the inner 
boot, something like that. You saw me earlier in the video when I showed you. It's a little hard for me to explain everything, but this is how it's working. So in my case, right now it's good. I will measure it where I will have six centimeters. So right here, I will have six centimeters. So I'll have to turn a few, a little more the outer tie rod. Okay, right now it's perfectly. I will tight it like this. After you're done with tightening the outer tie rod to the inner tie rod, you'll have to tighten the nut which is holding the outer tie rod mounted onto the subframe, onto the hub. And to do so, you'll have to use a tool like this and put it inside the hole, inside the nut from the outer tie rod. And after that, with a 19 mm key, you'll have to tighten the bolt down. And Okay everybody, so I'm done with installing everything onto this car. I installed both of the inner and outer tie rods from each side. This is how it's looking. The only thing that I have to do is to put back the shield from under the car. I hope I helped you. Thank you all for watching. If you liked this video and found it informative, please leave a like and a comment down below. See you next time.